The new Network Rail organisational licence for Great Crested Newts, designed and managed by Nature Space, means that all the operational works on our railways, from building stations to relaying track, can be done without delays, even where Great Crested Newts are present. It also means that those works contribute to a wider landscape scale conservation strategy for this iconic species. And we're here in a site in South Lincolnshire to find out how. So the Newt Conservation Partnership is a, a community benefit society. It was set up in 2017 and it was set up specifically to be the delivery body for the Nature Space Great, Great Crested New District licensing scheme. We have worked with Nature Space to develop this organisational licence and it's absolutely groundbreaking, pioneering stuff that means we can work towards a better future for Great Crested Newts and for uh, everyone that uses the railway. Our job in essence is to create high quality habitat for newts um, and that includes both aquatic habitat, so through pond creation or restoration, but also terrestrial habitat to make sure that the ponds that we create or restore have good surrounding habitat for the newts to, to live in. Boothby Wildland was founded in December 2021 as Natagals, um, who's our umbrella company's first site. We were very lucky to be invited to work with um, with Be Wild Land and with Natagal, the organisation that actually set this up. And they were very keen to work with us um, to, to start on the restoration of this landscape. It's sort of kickstart interventions that we've been able to do. For example, creating these ponds with um, the New Conservation Partnership, um, which has been a fantastic opportunity to enable us to, to get some water onto the site and, and increase the amount of habitat and therefore the biodiversity that we've got here. So we decided to uh, create some ponds, but also to restore an existing pond, and that's the pond uh, behind me. The work started on site in uh, February this year. So all this work is only six months old, and this is why it looks a little bit raw still, and a little bit muddy, which is something we're obviously very used to. We have another new pond a bit further that way, so thinking about stepping stone with the main site we're working on, which is about five hectares of land that we've taken under agreements as part of the scheme and where we've created four completely new ponds. For Network Rail, being part of this project with Natagirl at Boothby Farm, it's a privilege to be one of the first organisations uh, to be involved. It's an incredible site, it's absolutely huge, it's bigger, it's better, it's more connected and ultimately our projects are paying for this. They're paying to see more habitat created, Great Crested Newt population numbers going up and hopefully a really sustainable outcome. But the beauty of the site is that when we came to do walkovers and assess you know, what we could do where on this site, we actually surveyed one of the ponds, the existing ponds, and we found some Great Crested Newt eggs and nobody knew there were no existing records for Great Crested Newt at the site. So we, we're basically creating a complex uh, to, to extend the breeding habitat for the newts. So we don't plant our ponds, we much prefer to see what comes naturally. And um, as you can see from this restored pond, things have come up here very quickly because it's a restoration and so there were still some seed banks. On the new ponds, um, it takes a little bit more time, but we have some very interesting kind of surprises when we come back because of course we come back every year to monitor these sites to make sure that they work and sometimes we have to come back to address the hydrology, sometimes we have to fix some drainage issues and things like that. So uh, it's very important for us not, not to actually, you know, to just dig and then to leave them, look at them, observe and then adjust to ensure that they provide the maximum benefit for biodiversity and of course good breeding habitat for Great Crested Newt. Our long-term vision is that we, we create a site that is um, beneficial for the landscape, for biodiversity and for the planet ultimately. The money that we're spending on trying to prevent the impacts to Great Crested Newts, they're not just going on plastic in the ground, it's going into stuff like this. It's going into actual habitat that is improving population numbers at a massive scale. And that is groundbreaking stuff and it's great to be a part of it. Sites like these are being created all over the country thanks to Network Rail's commitment to a sustainable, biodiverse rail network. They'll be managed for at least the next 25 years, supporting and enhancing populations of great crested newts and thousands of other species of wildlife.